We'll have much more on the protests uh, around the United States coming up. Uh, we've been witnessing now for the past few days. But right now, I also want to take a moment to show you a truly extraordinary moment. Uh, this is the International Space Station, where only moments ago, the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule opened its, hats, uh, its hatch with the space station. The astronauts were then welcomed to the space station, which they'll call home for one to three months. A really historic time for our country's space program and SpaceX. Uh, here's what they had to say at the welcoming ceremony. It's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this. Uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. Well, we have some, uh, some VIPs with us here, and I'm, I'm sure they have some questions that they'd like to ask you, but uh, I have one of my own before I turn it over. And I just wanted to, to find out if you guys got any sleep on your way up there the last, uh, I'd say, I got 19 hours. Did you guys get any sleep? Yeah, I think a lot of folks in Hawthorne were asking the same question, sir, but uh, we did get probably a good seven hours or so opportunity for sleep and uh, I did succeed at sleep and I dug it as well so uh, the first night is always a little bit of a challenge but uh, the Dragon was a, a slick vehicle and uh, we had good airflow and so we had a excellent excellent evening and uh, just excited to be back uh, in low earth orbit again. Amazing well <clears throat> one of the people that uh, that is here with us today is um, Senator Ted Cruz, and of course he's a huge advocate of America's space program, and he's been, uh, you know, somebody who has helped us so much as we transition from one administration to the next administration. And the reason missions like this can have success is because of continuity of purpose. Um, and Senator Ted Cruz was a leader on a bill called the American, uh, uh, the NASA Transition Authorization Act. And um, because of that, uh, we have had a lot of political support, and we're very grateful for his leadership. Senator Cruz, would you like to say a few words? Well, congratulations, gentlemen. The eyes of the world are upon you, and everyone is proud of you. All of the America is watching you, and today and yesterday represent big, big days. Uh, we're looking at a decade since we've had American astronauts launched on an American ship from American soil. And I can tell you I sat with my wife and kids in our living room watching on TV yesterday, and I suspect we did what just about everyone watching did, including both of you, which is held our breath as it took off. And we're glad to see you've landed safely. We're glad to see you've docked. Uh, and, and so let me ask you, that Dragon is, is, is an amazing vehicle. How does she handle? It uh, flew Two, just like it one. was supposed to. And as you know, this is the first time a commercial spacecraft uh, has taken uh, astronauts to the International Space Station. Yesterday's launch was the first time we've had a launch on American soil in nearly a decade. A thrilling moment in space history and the possible dawn of a new age in space travel.